Hey, I heard about you, and I lived here. No, oh, I, I don't, don't. I don't. That's probably more MySpace thing. Do that. You mean any girls from your website? Yeah. Honestly, mm -hmm. how many? Like, what do you What do you mean, like me, like bang them? Well, like going on a date, like you you take them out and you suck face. <laughs> What about the dance? That's not what I say. It makes me even feel like an idiot. Like, you just meet them on your website and you're like, look, you're kind of attractive. Send me a picture. Let's go out sometime. Yeah. You do? How often have you done that? Not that often because then a lot of them are in Twice? California. Twice? A lot of them are in California. Okay. Uh, Has anyone ever contacted you in California and been like, look, I live in the area. Do you want to meet up? Yes. And did you meet them? No. Why? Because. One week I didn't want to go out. Next week I wanted to go out. She had a boob job. Next week I was busy. Next week I was at a ball game, or she was at a ball game. Hot so or not? Never seen her. Oh, why'd you tell her to send you a picture? Someone told me she was hot. Why don't you tell her? Yeah, I feel hot. Yeah, I don't know. I just didn't get there yet. Hmm. Well, there's a lucky lady waiting out there with a recently performed boob job for yep. Howie Gordon. <laughs> we dress like that on the first date. Yeah. You would just because you don't want to like get their hopes up. Big Brother Howie, you can do whatever I want. But you don't want to get their hopes up either. It's like, look, this is what you get. They know who I am. They see me, like, right now is a perfect thing. They see me sitting next to the great doctor. You know, you're a good looking guy, and then there's me. See, what I do is I take them on a date and, and make it the best date ever so that there's no turning back. You play the playhouse. I love to play house. You don't even know how to perform on a date anymore. How do you meet? You met Aaron again? Where? Like, all the show? Like, uh, Griffin is a friend of mine, yeah. and she, um, so uh, we were, we did a, there was a one day reunion, reality, they called it a reality reunion, but it was just all these people from different shows. Kathy hosted? Yeah, so I was like, Kathy, what's the deal with her? And she was like, go talk to her right now, and I was like, cool, so I went and uh, wrapped out with her. At the VH1 awards show last year, she told me I was the smartest person she's ever seen play Big Brother. And yeah, she lies about that Kathy all the time. Yeah, I thought so. Because I was Kathy him. Yeah. It wasn't my season. Where did you see oh, her? No, I, mean, I know she hosted it. Where was she? I didn't see her walking around. There. Backstage. Was she back there? I had like um, someone had forgotten the past, and I was walking them back to our like our rehearsal area. Yeah. It'd be cool if she came and hosted a competition. That'd be awesome. She's funny as hell. Huge. Kathy come host. She and I, Theo went, out, went and saw, Theo and I went and saw, I went and saw her recently do her new thing for Bravo. We drunk dialed her the first night we were. And out, she right? and Elizabeth was there and That's was not was really cool. Guys. Yeah. Yeah, I think she's really funny. Hilarious. I think she's very funny too. I sat with her. But you, Some people you just don't get her jokes, but I think. I think she's hilarious. I think she's hilarious. And what you sit with here? We did. I went with Kaser to the UBIT uh, charity thing to raise money for the Hurricanes in uh, Vegas. All these stars, and she was at our table. She was up there hosting it too, and she's like, uh, "And for so much amount of money, you can um, get a get a date with Paris Hilton, and she'll probably fuck you." <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, if, if, was that event taped? I don't know. No, the, uh, the the Cardinal session with Paris Hilton would that be on tape? It's probably up to Paris. Which is probably yeah. Just checking. I'd really like to know what happened to this pillow. HowieGordon.com. Throw it in the wash. HowieGordon.com pillow. Starting at twenty four dollars. Did you did you did you guys sell anything <laughs> on eBay? I know the. No, I'd send. I donated a couple donated. pictures from the show. I, I don't know what what it went for. Uh, let me guess. Nothing. No, I got sold. <laughs> I was like, if you buy this, we'll also throw in. <laughs> they pay your expenses, you and Kate. Yeah. They did. Mm -hmm. Good. It's really, it's really nice. They took care of us. Where'd you guys stay? Some post Bellagio. Oh, nice. Ooh, it's a sweet, full, everything paid for. We got, I got flown out of the private jet. Really? You're going with Lance in there, right? Yeah. So cool. Why'd you bring Howie? Good call. <laughs> I was, they invited me, but I already had, I was renting a car for like two weeks. I'm like, I just want to drive. I was going to go see some people in Palm Springs and stuff. So I yeah, drove. I mean, smart. Why not? Why go on a private jet? Yeah, I was on the, okay, it was definitely, you know. On the way there, on the way there, okay, who's on the plane? It's like me. Nick Lachey. Nick Lachey, uh, the guy, the dancer that was dating, what's her face? J Lo. Chris Judd. She's married to. Chris Judd. Judd. Mm -hmm. uh, Brittany Murphy. Brittany Murphy, the guy from Dawson's Creek. Uh, was he on the way there or back? Nick Lachey. Nick Lachey, an investor in Atlanta. Did he? 
uh, Gay Shouse Atlanta and Ten Pin Alley. What? <laughs>